In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a call to action outro and create YouTube video annotations. So stick around. So I've already created this in Photoshop. What I did was create a background, which was your HD 1920 by 1080. Then I created, using the same formula, um, a smaller version where we can place our outro video on that. We have a smaller box on the top right. Um, if you want to watch the next video or watch a series of videos, below that is a placeholder with a subscribe button. You can put your website information and also put your logo or put your branding there. So let's go ahead and make one. Drag our logo down into this area here and put our web address in here. Save that as a JPEG. In ScreenFlow, drag the outro placeholder we've created into the timeline here. So I'm going to take the JPEG that we've got, I'm going to stretch it out, put it down the bottom down there, and then I'm going to bring my video and the audio and sit that over the top. Um, you can see I've dropped a video onto this here. I'm just going to show you how we do that. I'm going to add one over here. Let's drag this video, I've added into my media library. It's a big file. Just gotta resize this. So this is actually taking straight from my computer, not from YouTube. Let's just... Once we put this up, this video will actually be playing, so... Call this number, Power of now. What we wanna do is turn the audio off of this track. So I'm going to right click and detach the audio and I'm just going to delete the audio off that track. So we're at right where that starts you want your video to actually start playing from there. So while you're finishing off your dialogue and saying what you want the people to do next you'll see that the next video is right there ready to be played. So now it's time to upload our video to YouTube and add our annotations. Now we're on our channel, we want to find our video, so we go to the video manager. Here's our video that we want to edit. We go straight down to annotations. Right, here we are on annotations. Now we need to find our starting point. We want to put an annotation on a subscribe button. Um, we want to put an annotation on the web address here, so people click straight through to that. So what we're going to do is add uh, the video onto this and add an annotation. So when you click annotation, you see you've got a speech bubbles, notes, titles, spotlight and label. We're going to click on the spotlight and you'll see the spotlight here. We're just going to drag and drop that over the top of it there. Just to open that up just a little bit. We're going to go down to link and we want to link it to a video. I'm just going to grab the URL for that video and paste our link into there. So now we're going to link to the website. And we click on the annotations. We go down through and we're going to choose Spotlight again. Now we're going to expand the Spotlight box over the URL. Now with these you can also choose borders. Um, and you have different colors so that when you hover over them or you can go for a more discreet look by having none down the bottom. Now we're going to click on link. And the options here are video, playlist, channel, profile, subscribe, crowdfunding, or associated website. That's what we want. And you'll see the preview link here. When it's blue, it means that it's working properly. And we need to save and apply the changes. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to find your channel subscriber link. You click on your, um, your name of your channel here, Local Video Influence in this case, and you have a vanity name, but often it'll come up with the garbly gook version of it. So you need to copy that and you need to paste that. And there's a little bit of code that we're going to add to, add to that. Now, the code is this question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. Now when you just put that onto the end, that is going to be my subscribe URL. And now I'm going to create an annotation for our subscribe. So again, we're going to use the spotlight because we want that to go over our 
box here. I'm gonna click link and video. I wanna go down to subscribe and then I'm gonna paste my link into there. You can see that it's actually working. I'm gonna apply changes, play the video through until the spot where that changes. We want to just stretch these out. Now the reason I did them all together is because I knew this section all finished at the same place. So I just want to make them all the same length. And we can fine tune these by going, you can see the end here, and it goes down to fine increments as well if you want to change that. Apply changes. So in this next section, we're going to add another annotation right there. So I'm going to go to the video logos page and I'm going to grab the URL for that, add another annotation, and I'm going to spotlight once again, and I'm gonna put that over there. Click on link, associated website, paste in my page, apply changes. This one goes to the end, so I'm just gonna stretch it out to the end, and hit save, and apply changes. Now if we play the video, and we go through to the end, Here's the link. If I hover over it, you can just barely see the link comes up. If I click on that, that will take us straight to that next video. And this one here is the link there. If I click on that, that should take us straight to our website, which it does. And if you hover over the subscribe button, you'll see the URL come up for that. So I'm not gonna subscribe to my own channel. I've also added another section on here, part of the outro. And we have another annotation over here. So if I click on that, that should take us, as you can see, to the video logos page on the website. And there's our video logos. And that's it. That's how to add your video annotations to your outro. And the next thing is, it would be to put cards on there as well. But that's another video. For more information, go to localvideoinfluence.com. To see all our video logos, click here now to go to the video logos page. And if you like this video, click the like button and be great if you could leave a comment. And to stay up to date with all our latest videos and video training, click the subscribe button now.